please welcome Jeremy Abbott. So 24-year-old Jeremy Abbott, that breakout season last season when he became the first American man to win the Grand Prix final and then took the U.S. title. Now trains under former world champion Yuka Sato. Yuka won the 1994 World Championship, and they train in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. So looking on, her star pupil, Jeremy Abbott, the leader after the short program and the final skater here. so intelligently and beautifully constructed to cater to his strengths. Opening jump, a quadruple toe loop. Struggle with it and warm up. Not there! He goes in and out of these triple jumps. The transitions are just difficult, amazing. The only triple axle on this program is coming up now. It's in combination. Beautiful height on that in the triple jump. I feel like saying game over, <laughs> but there's a lot of skating left. As long as he doesn't say game over, he has to stay on top of his game now. Part of the choreography. But this next two passes, these next two passes get a lot of points. <laughs> Double toe. The next jumping pass is just amazing. A triple axle will get you 8.2 points. This next combination, if he hits it perfectly, 11.5. Wow. This is a huge accomplishment because not only is it so difficult to defend a title, but to do it skating last and is with, so hard. And with possibly the best performance of your life, which to me this so far has been.
No nerves this time. Jeremy Abbott with a successful defense of his U.S. championship with a flawless free skate. That was a beatdown is what that was. I mean, how do you win your title? How do you defend your title the old-fashioned way? You kick everybody's backside, and he just did. That was awesome. That performance gave you shivers. So controlled, so steady, so within his so grasp. So smart, smart, smart. Evan Lysacek. Looks like he'll settle for second place. Johnny Weir would be third. And Jeremy Abbott. Barring some sort of quirk in the scoring, is on his way. This will be a very short meeting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, great. Okay, I'll send them. Well, the nine-member committee will meet as soon as this is validated and uh, come up with the makeup of that U.S. Olympic team. It's not cut and dried, but why would you not send Lysacek and we're along with Jeremy Abbott to Vancouver. And the only shame of it is that uh, Ryan Bradley... Had he had a better short program, would have been right there as well after he had that uh, exhilarating free skate. Well, coming into this performance, he was winning the free skate, and, and Johnny Weir is actually fourth so far in the free skate. So there might be a little bit of a conversation there, there on whether or not Ryan Bradley may uh, be considered. Uh, but again, you know, Johnny came here to be top three. He accomplished that goal, and now it's in the hands of a, a bunch of people. Well, a bunch of people, but they will be considering the short program and the long program. And as Tom said, I think that Ryan gave it away in the short program. You have to be able to come to the table with two solid performances. And although Johnny didn't do his best today, he still came with two solid performances. I agree. Jeremy Abbott will be on his way to Vancouver as an Olympian for the first time. And if form follows and Lysacek and we are also selected to the team, they would be going for the second time. Lysacek was fourth in Torino and Weir was fifth. Well, and, and for Lysacek to change the game plan so late, I think maybe was his undoing. Everything coming in here said it was going to be smart, I'm just getting my two triple axles and, and you know, get yeah. the quad for Vancouver if I need it. Well, the judge is about to put the official stamp on it, <laughs> which drew a reaction even from Jeremy. 175.81 and the total 263. Oh a slight 25 point victory. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything over 155 for a free program is supposed to be amazing. 175, first place. And then 240 Two, plus, 63. amazing. Yeah, anything over 240 is amazing, and that was a 263. Now, if you put this free skate on the ice in Vancouver, uh, how would it stack up? It's on the podium. It's on the podium. It's on the podium. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Again, intelligently, beautifully constructed to suit his strengths, and he delivered the goods. So a lock 